bang knees knives i'm jared my lovely wife kara is at work and today we're just doing a quick review on the crkt polar and you know just kind of a quick talk about it now this is a little bit of a smaller knife and i have to give you a little bit of a backstory on my experience with the pilar because when it first came out kara loved it she wanted one so bad we went and checked one out at, um, you know, at a, a knife shop, or whatever, and it was great. It was a lot like this one. Then we bought one, and the one we bought happened to come in a package, not from under the table. We should just grab the one from under the table, but we did not. Now, after we got it, got it home, it was horrifying. It it should have never left the factory, and I mean so bad that one it couldn't be centered the only way you could center it was if you wanted to two-hand open the thing because that's how much tension was on it now reverse flicking or flicking it wasn't happening it, and then when the only way you could get action out of it to be able to flick it was if it was um off so bad centering that it was rubbing it was it was ridiculous now for that thing to leave the factory told me something I, I you know, it, it told me that they were having horrible, not just bad quality control, horrible quality control. And it really upset me about it. So instead of returning it and getting another one, we just wrote it off. We got, we got our money back and said, no, we're not messing with these Polars because I'm not, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, um, buy another one and basically support that type of knife behavior if you know what i mean now, i don't mind a knife being at fault for anything and them accepting responsibility whatever i don't that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is that thing was so bad why was it why did it ever leave the factory and then i heard multiple stories from other people lots of stories from other people everybody talking about man mine has so much blade play i can't get it centered the bad action then there were other people that just loved these things but with me it left a very sour taste in my mouth now this is a very very nice example of the way it should be and it's, it's nice, and I really wish it wouldn't have left such a sour taste in my mouth because I know I would love this thing, if not for that. I really would. This thing would be awesome. It has great ergos. I mean, especially with this nice big finger choil. It feels nice in the hand, especially for such a compact little knife because, you know, I'm not expecting it to be, you know, a whole gritter or a Benchmade Griptilian, but for such a little compact knife, this thing's awesome. Awesome little box cutter, whatever you want to call it. The action is great. This one is a very good example of how the action should be. Even the sounds on it are very nice. I think this is a Blade HQ, Blade HQ exclusive because this is real carbon fiber. And then a steel frame lock. This one is an S30V. So this one's not the, the standard 8CR version or the D2 version. This one is an S30V. Um, I can't remember if it's S35 or S30V because they didn't stamp it on the blade. We'll talk about that in a second. The stop pin on this thing is a good size stop pin for such a small knife. That's a nice stop pin. Um, there's so many good things about this knife. Even the slow roll, you know, without the pinch, just the slow roll is very nice. It's very useful. It's a very useful little tool. And the the reverse grip, you know, you're not going to be really cutting too many straps with this thing. But the way it's supposed to be used like a utility knife, it's great. Access to the lock bar is really nice. Um, you can swing it forward if you want to do the where it lands on your finger. You can definitely do that. But otherwise, you unlock it and push it forward with your finger. The detent is a little late, but no big deal. The action's phenomenal on this example. Now, like I said, the sour taste I have in my mouth makes me have a lot of hatred for this knife. And I can't help but have that after my experience. Now, I know a lot of people had great experiences with it, so I don't want to take that from them. So if you love this knife, 
that's awesome. I love that for you, that you love the knife. I, however, just can't. Um, after the experience I had and hearing so many experiences from other people, I, I almost despise this knife. And I don't want to despise this knife, but it was CRKT's fault, not mine. <laughs> so, and this is the thing with CRKT, that wasn't the first time. Many, many, many times have I gotten a CRKT knife that w was just horrible. I mean, the fit, the finish, things were loose, um, parts failing, um, just so many different things. Now, I like CRKT, and I love their designs. I think CRKT has some of the best designs out there, um, possibly. You know, that's arguable, but I'm not saying that they are the best designs. I'm just saying they have amazing designs out there that could be done so well. Like, even the Razel. I love the, the CRKT Razel. Love that knife. But that was another example of a knife that they just did wrong. There were so many things they could have done right. It rubbed. Um, just lots of different things. Um, but I like the knife still. And I even used it as a work knife for a long time. As a beater. I still got it. Still use it. But, you know, it just is one of those things where it was never perfect. Um, and I feel like they have so much potential to do good. And I really hope that they start doing that soon. Start taking a little bit more time with their, their quality control and not letting things out of the factory that are bad. Um, this is a small knife. It's not a big knife at all. I'll just do a couple really quick size comparisons. Here is the Kaiser Fire Ant. And here is the Spider Co. Chaparral. The fire ant's even bigger than this guy, and that says a lot. <laughs> That's a little, this is a little knife. Um, here's the chaparral. You can see this chaparral's even bigger than it, and that says a lot. Here's, here's another knife that's very small, the Kaiser Lieb. Now, here's a good example of a good, now they're about the same size too, actually. They're actually very, very close. But this is a good example of a knife that was done right. I mean, everything about this knife was just done good. I love this little knife. And I haven't had really any uh, bad quality controls from the, their, their factory. Now, I'm sure other people have, but the list of people that came out of the woodworks that said the exact same thing I said that of my experience was overwhelming that means that it wasn't like my my experience was the only one that means i feel like i heard more people complaining about this knife than the people that love the knife now some of the knife reviewers out there right and i'm not calling anybody out i'm just saying some of the knife reviewers out there that possibly got one could have possibly gotten one from the factory when they knew they were who they were sending it to I don't know. Um, and maybe sometimes they just bought one and got a good example. Because I know there were a lot of people that got a lot of great examples of this knife. But after you get one as bad as I did, it's hard to go back on that. It really is. It's hard to take that back. And I wasn't willing to try it again. But... After getting this one in hand, I can see why so many people liked it. I really can. This one is a great, great example. Amazing little knife. Um, if they were all done like this. You know what else I feel like? And I'm not a knife maker, but I feel like this wouldn't be hard to get right. <laughs> it's pretty basic. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just talking crap at that point, but um, I mean... I don't know. Cool little knife, man. I, I could see so many people really loving this little guy. And they also have a bigger version with a flipper. I think it has a flipper. Yeah, a bigger version. I'll be honest. I haven't paid much attention to it after what happened to me. It, like I said, it left a very sour taste in my mouth. And then I seen everybody, everybody showing these things on their channels. Everybody was showing these. Um, and... Yeah, and I'm not trying to stir anybody away from one. I would just recommend that if you're going to buy one, you either buy it, get it, 
and then check it. If it doesn't work out, return it right away. Get your money back. And if you have a if you have the opportunity to go to a knife shop and look at one at a knife shop, go to the knife shop, check it out, test it out, and then see if you like it. And if you do, buy that one. Don't do what I did and look at the one under the counter and then buy a different one from a package. Um. There are a lot of companies that do sell parts for these um, aftermarket parts, so you can get aftermarket scales. Um, there's a lot of different versions of this, meaning like, well, not a lot. There's the big one, the small one. There's diff there's ones in a couple different steels. There's like an HCR. There's a D2 version. Like I said, the smaller, the bigger. And then there's different uh, materials. Like I said, this is a Blade HQ exclusive an S30V or S35VN. And that's another problem. Why didn't they label this thing? I mean, they put all these markings all over this thing. And I like Vox designs, just so you know. I do like Vox designs. I love... My flipper deleted Ace Biblio. Which is a small knife, but bigger than this one. Anyways, but why didn't they put the S35 VN on there? I feel like you'd want to to say that. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe maybe it was supposed to. Maybe that was a quality control issue. <laughs> maybe they they uh, missed this one. <laughs> but if you know, I don't doubt that it's not a. Oh, S35 VN, but who knows? Maybe they messed up and put D2 on here. I don't know. I, I'm I'm talking crap at this point. I know. Um, I'm sure it's S35 VN. I'm just joking around. But it does have a reversible pop pocket clip from tip up to tip down, but not or not reversible. I should say it's reversible from tip up to tip down, but not reversible from left to right. Cool little knife. There you guys go. Sorry for complaining so much. I love you guys. Peace.